Hey, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. This is another video in which we will code our way through the Rust Wrestling's tutorial. And as always, if you're interested in the other videos of this tutorial series, then make sure to check out the playlist that I've linked in the description below. Yeah, let's see um, what we're up to today. So I'm gonna run Wrestling's Watch as always from the Wrestling's repository. This is gonna run all the existing exercises, nothing new going on here. And then we'll see that it seems like there's a quiz going on here because the file is called quiz1.rs and let's see what's going on here the compiler says it cannot find a function called calculate apple price yeah it shows that it can find it in two places so um, let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna open up exercises quiz and then quiz1.rs. So this is a quiz for the following sections, variables and functions, yay. And then it says, Mary is buying apples. One apple usually costs two rust bucks. That should be a new crypto coin. But if you buy more than 40 at once, each apple only costs one. Write a function that calculates the price of an order of apples given the order amount. No hints this time. Okay, and this is where we should put our function. Here's a bunch of tests where we can take a look at what the behavior should look like. So we can see we have a price one that is calculate apple price given 35 and we have price two calculated by calculate apple price given 65. And then the assumption is that price one equals 70 and price two equals 65. So this kind of reflects what the description said. Each apple costs only one rust bug if we buy more than 40 apples at once otherwise costs two rust bucks so let's start adding this function here function calculate apple price and then takes a number of apples that we want to buy so a number which i'm going to say is an i32 in this case and we also want to return a price which is an i32 as well then we need to check if the number of apples is bigger than 40 so if we order more than 40 apples then we want to to return just the number because then an apple costs only one rust buck. Otherwise, we will be returning um, num times two because then an apple costs two rust bucks. So let's save this and see what happens. Cool, this is compiling. I'm gonna remove the comment here and head off to the next one. Okay, this was a nice little exercise here. Let's see what else is waiting for us in the wrestling's tutorial.